What up? It's Jimmy from Odds.com. This is a clip from our big NCAA basketball show. To check out the entire show, hit the link at the bottom of the screen. It's available exclusively on Odds.com. Okay, we roll on. We move over to the SWAC, 7.30 p.m. Eastern. Let's get the odds page back up here. We are moving quickly. We have Mississippi Valley State, Delta Devils, 1-18, 1-10 in, in conference at Prairie View A&M Panthers, 9-4, 8-0 in conference. A max cash with Prairie View Panthers two nights ago. We are in Prairie View, Texas. Prairie View undefeated in conference, and we're at the William Nix building in Prairie View. Prairie View, 31-point favorites over hapless Mississippi Valley State. That's moved to 32 at a couple books. This total opened up at 140 here. I've got it available at 139.5, 140.5, and and also 141. Mississippi State's followed their lone win on the season with back-to-back losses to Alcorn State and Texas Southern. Tuesday's 82-45 loss at Texas Southern was very, very ugly. As ugly as any loss I've seen all season on this show, Max. They were down 41-15 at the half. They turned the ball over 30 times, forced just seven. They shot 24.2% from the field, 13% from three. I, numbers don't get much worse than that. Uh, three starters didn't score a point and played a combined 85 minutes. They combined to go 0 for 22 from the field. Uh, Keandre Jefferson led the way with 17 points and seven boards. It was just a sixth game of the year. He's averaging 13.8 points and 7.8 boards on the season. Mississippi Valley State has five players averaging double digits, five. Yet they score just 55.7 points per game. They get just 10.4 assists. They turn the ball over 18 times. They hit just 34.8% from the field, 31.3% from three, and 59.9% from the stripe. Ugly, ugly numbers. Prairie View coming off their eighth straight win on Tuesday, 72-56 at home over Arkansas Pine Bluff. Uh, Max moved on Prairie View first half. We got him at eight and a half, and uh, I believe they – Led the, after the first half by 10 or 11, 10, I believe. Uh, Jawan Daniels had a career high 26 points and 14 boards. They have three players averaging double digits in Cam Mack, Jawan Daniels, and Jeremiah Gambrell. They hit 45.9% from the field, 32% from three, and 68.2% from the foul line. Max, Mississippi Valley State, Prairie View AM. Jim, I'm starting to get the feeling that you don't enjoy the ugliest of ugly of college basketball in Division One that they have to offer. Is that true? Uh, you know, if we're making money, Max, that's all that's important. That's all I care about. You know what? When I watched that Mississippi Valley State game that they played against Texas Southern, not only was I in a very fun YouTube chat watching the game because the game was on the YouTube channel of Texas Southern, I also was live betting the total, and I was smashing it. That game opened up at 150 and a half. I'm like, are you kidding me? Do you know who this Delta Devil team is now? They're not the team that's even going to get close to 70 points. I think that with Prairie View, they really embarrassed this Delta Devil team last time they played them. They held them in the second half to five points. That's crazy. <laughs> 20 minutes of Division I basketball at the, at the SWAC level, and they held them to five points. The, I can understand why this spread went from 20 to 31 or 32, Jim. But the problem is Prairie View won by 46 points in that game against Mississippi Valley State. And they only shot 25% from the three-point line. That's showing you how incredibly old school and playground style this Prairie View team is. They win with drives. They win with layups. They win with second chance scoring. And listen, they have to do that because they don't have that quality front court player. But luckily enough, neither does Mississippi Valley State. There is nothing that they are going to be able to do against Prairie View. Listen, Prairie View may have dropped the ball in the second half versus versus Arkansas Pine Bluff, but that doesn't matter. We cashed. I think that Prairie View is going to keep on doing what they did in the first game, 
to Mississippi Valley State again, which was 17 steals, plus 10 on the O glass, plus 10 on the D glass, forced 28 turnovers, which from what I'm seeing is a, is a regular occurrence for Mississippi Valley State. I like the first half, Jim, in this game. I like Prairie View up until 20. They had a slow first half versus team last time out. I think that reverses fortune. I think that this is a game where if you are backing the full game, which I'm not for the show, I think that it's good until 35. This is a Prairie View team that makes a ton of high percentage shots. The three-point defense is good on both sides of the basketball uh, for each team. I think that there's questionable free throw shooting from each team. And listen, when Prairie View is going to be plus 15 or more in turnovers, they're going to turn that into maybe 20, maybe 25 points. That could be the difference right there. So if I can get Prairie View on the first half anywhere under 20 and a half points, Jim, then we got to play for the morning. All right. Prairie View A&M Panthers first half with a minus 20 limit in Swaction. 